In all parts of the world, many high-spirited revolts from rascally despotisms had of late been knocked on the head. Many dreadful casualties by locomotive and steamer had likewise knocked hundreds of high-spirited travelers on the head. I lost a dear friend in one of them. My own private affairs were also full of despotisms, casualties, and knockings on the head, when early one morning in spring, being too full of hypos to sleep, I sallied out to walk on my hillside pasture. For about the last five years, I've had players from Aurora coming up to me and saying, we've got to record this music. We want to take the listeners on some kind of journey. We were so thrilled when we saw what was on the, the recording schedule for this project because they are pieces that Aurora knows really well. The Adams Chamber Symphony is something that we did really early on, it's a piece that we've played in concerts a lot and something that really plays to the strengths of the group. The same, same thing with this um, small version of Copeland Appalachian Spring which has a real chamber intimacy that, that I think you miss in the full version. And the Ives is a stunning piece that we got to know more recently. Oh mother, oh mother, come riddle it down. We've asked come the American composer Nico Muley, who's a great friend of the orchestras, to write and arrange some folk songs uh, for two singers from America, Dawn Landers and Sam Amidon. And these really weave together the other music on the disc. And I suppose they, they offset it and put it in a different light and give a completely different color to the kind of music that's on there. Nico Muley told me to, to look out for Aurora because they were the youngest and coolest orchestra around. And I think that seems to be the case from what I've seen. I just love the energy and how everyone's having so much fun playing the music and it felt to me like how I feel playing music with with my friends and with my peers. One and one half wandering Jew. It, it was uh, um, exciting to be asked to be a part of this because it's you know it ties together a lot of stuff that I love in terms of bringing this weird folk songs into the context of these classic American pieces and these composers whose own work deals with, like Charles Ives, you know, samples folk songs in his things and of course Aaron Copeland does. And, and I love the idea of an album that really has a, t tells a story all the way through the album, you know, as, a, as opposed to just like a, throwing a bunch of pieces onto a CD, you know. So that, that idea was really exciting to me to be part of just these little, you know, things that would help link um, these, you know, beautiful pe and sort of masterpieces together. We're blessed in Aurora with, with just phenomenal individual virtuosity that these people can sit there and play a piece like Adams's Chamber Symphony and communicate with it. And it's a thrilling experience to put together something like this on a recording. So we're really excited to be able to, to present this and, and to present this journey to people.